Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to another car build and tune in episode. This one's going to be a tiny little bit different. Uh, we won't be building a car this episode. Um, I'll be showing you the tune of this car. Um, it is a Nissan 370Z. Um, it's a personal build. Um, I really wanted a new car um, to kind of take over from uh, what car did I have? The BMW E36. I sort of just ran that car so much. Uh, I just wanted a new car to run. Uh, so I'll just show this car off for a little bit. Um, I'll do a few uh, drifts and stuff. And then we'll see what the hell is going on. And then I'll show you guys the tune. But for now, uh, we're just going to hit this line over here. Um, but yeah, this car is absolutely amazing. Hopefully I'll be able to show it off um, enough right now. Um, I have swapped in that RB. Um, a lot of people probably are like, oh no, I don't want it now. But it's an amazing engine. Um, the stock engine just didn't seem to work for me. Um, I couldn't get it to work, the VQ was just saying no. Um, so I swapped in the RB, which was the next one. Um, I could have gone to the V8, uh, which was my next step, because I know the V8 is an absolute animal in this game. Um, I do like to run it in most of my cars. Um, but I, I chucked in the RB to see what it was like, and in this car it is absolutely spot on. Um, and in any, any other car, to be honest, the RB is absolutely spot on on this game. Just like the V8, the V8 and the RB, um, they're just very, very nice um, engines to drift with. So this car, um, I spent probably about two days tuning it. I'm still making slight, like minor adjustments, like PSI, like 0.5 and stuff. Uh, but it's pretty much, it's pretty much there. Like the tune is pretty much on point right now, and uh, the transitions are pretty much instant. Uh, but they're not that instant that you're kind of oversteering and stuff like that. Um, you're just I don't know, it just feels absolutely amazing. It does have the off-road suspension, so if some of you do not like the off-road suspension, um, then this build won't be for you. Um, but if you're running the wheel, um, this car is going to be spot on for you. The angle it holds is absolutely insane. And it's also got the power as well, which is the main bit about this. Um, I think it's running at about 600 brake horsepower, which some people might say as... As some people... Oh god. Uh, some people do say it's a tiny bit too much, but in terms of Horizon 2 and running with people and tandem and stuff, running that amount of power is kind of around normal, like around the normal mark. Um, on Forza 4, always used to run from 600 to 650, um, so it's kind of going back to the old days and just getting cars that have enough power, but then they also have the stability of a low-powered car. Um, and this car definitely has that stability. It's absolutely crazy sideways. I'm so happy that I actually managed to build a car that goes on par with my E30. Um, I have got an RX-7 that I'm slowly building, uh, but I just can't get that to the same level as my E30. So maybe there will be an RX-7 tune coming in a little bit later on. But seeing as this is a personal build, um, we won't be building the car right now. Um, I'll show you the upgrades and the tune and stuff, um, but. I just want to show the car off for a bit first. A um, little bit of a different kind of different kind of start to these videos, but I hope you guys like the fact that I'm giving away a personal car here. Um, you guys absolutely loved the last car building tune episode, so why not? Why not give away a personal build and get you guys drifting really well? I don't know how it does work on the controller. That is one thing I haven't tried out. Haven't gave this to any people yet to see if it works well on the controller. Um, so please be warned if you are on the controller. It might not work absolutely spot on for you, but you can still try. Uh, but on the wheel, if you have a wheel, this car is for you. Like generally, this is probably the best car I've driven. Apart from my E30, my E30 is probably on par with this. Um, but it's an absolutely amazing car. It's very, very nice. Uh, the brake pressure is pretty low, so if you do want to change the brake pressure up a bit, um, you can do that. Um, but yeah. Pretty nice car. Um, I hope that showed it off a tiny bit there. Uh, it's getting really stable at the end, which is good. And yeah, I went to show you the tune, then I realised I haven't showed you the upgrades. So I'll be back in a second, and we'll get cracking with the upgrades. Who knows about that Tinder life? Look, oh, spam yes, spam yes. You know about that. <laughs> okay, so let's show you the upgrades. Uh, go on to custom upgrade. Go all the way to the right to conversion. You want to put the engine conversion in first or you'll have to re-put on all the engine upgrades that you probably expect. Um, so chuck in the RB, which is the second engine upgrade right there. 
Uh, drive train, keep that stock. We don't want all-wheel drive. We ain't no fake. Uh, <laughs> don't know why I always say that. Um, but yeah, put whatever street bumpers you want. Or put whatever bumpers take your fancy. Um, bumpers is completely up to you. Uh, oh my god. Like burped, but like I breathed in at the same time. It was really weird. Uh, so yeah, choose whatever bumpers, side skirts, whatever you want. Uh, that's completely up to you. Tyres, I run stock, uh, mainly because I'm on the wheel. If you're on the controller, you might want to put that to sport. Uh, but if you're on the wheel, keep it to stock uh, to try and slow yourself down a tiny bit. Um, tyre width on the front is just stock. Tyre width on the rear is stock as well. So we're trying to keep grip to a minimum to slow ourselves down because on the wheel, you are so much faster. Wheels is completely up to you. You can choose whatever wheels you want. Drivetrain. I'm not even going to show you the drivetrain. Everything in drivetrain is race, so go through and do that yourselves. Um, brakes, that's race. Springs and dampers, put the off road suspension on. Um, race anti roll bars, front and back. Uh, chassis is race. And weight reduction is race as well. Uh, so that takes us down to 1.2. Two kilos, bro. Um, I did used to have the sport weight reduction on, but it's just a tiny bit too slow. So I chucked in the race weight reduction for it to for it to do what we wanted it to do. So now coming on to the engine upgrades, uh, race intake, race fuel systems, race ignition, race exhaust, um, sport cams and valves. Race valves. Did I just say that wrong? No, don't worry. Uh, displacement. Uh, race pistons and compression is stock. Twin turbo is sport. Race in the cooler. Oil and cooling is race as well. And a race flywheel. So that is all the upgrades. Uh, pretty simple upgrades, to be honest. Um, so if you need to see any of those, just pause it at certain spots and you'll be absolutely fine. Um, so coming on to the tune now, this is where it gets a little bit more complicated. Um, you can pause the video like now and you can copy it down and stuff if you want to. 47 PSI on the front, which is pretty high. Um, I had to do that to get my transitions down. I just couldn't seem to get my wheel to work with this car. Um, so I put the high pressure in, it just seemed to work. So I left it there. Uh, 47 and 32 gear in. I think I changed that to 4.3. That might be stock though. I don't know. Um, alignment, minus 2.6 on the front, minus 1.2 on the rear. Just some negative toe on the rear, uh, minus 0.5. Cast all the way up to 7. Anti-roll bars, 29.62. Uh, the rear is 27.76. Springs, 89.1 and 82.4 on the rear. Um, ride height is 11.1 in the front, 10.3 in the rear. Damping, 9.7 and 9.1. Uh, bump stiffness, we're saying 7.4 and 6.7. Aero, we can't touch that because we don't have any adjustables. Um, the braking force, I've kept it in the middle. I normally put it towards the rear, but I don't know. I just felt like I needed the force in the front. Just sometimes um, when you're trying to tandem and it's mostly in the rear, it is kind of hard um, to keep the, your line, if you know what I mean. So... Brake pressure is on 35%. You can up that if you do need to. Uh, differential is 100% and 100%. So that is the setup. Um, I will put this up onto... Oh, God. Oh, God. What's going on? What have I got to do? What? Okay, apply and save. I guess that's what I need to do. Um, I've already got one, apparently. Um, so I'll save over the drift file. <laughs> it saves me renaming it. Um, so this will be going up on the storefront for you guys. So if you don't want to copy it down yourselves, then you can just go onto storefront and copy it. Um, and just slap it on your car. It'll put all the upgrades. It'll do the tune, but it won't be unlocked. That's the only thing about it. Um, so yeah. Let's upload this. Drift. Um, best for handling. And let's go. So that is now being uploaded. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Giving away a personal build. Um, so yeah. If you want to see more personal builds. Where I take my time. Yeah, in my spare time. And then show it off to you guys. Um, give this a thumbs up. If this gets 30 likes. I will do another one straight away. Uh, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did. Give it a thumbs up. Hope the quality is a little bit better. It should be improved. Uh, see you guys next time.